little stranger from our garden. Hello friends, welcome back to Jyoti Tandon's Kitchen and all those who are new to my channel, welcome as well. Today I'm sharing the recipe of how to make spicy shrimp or prawn curry. So let's get started. So the ingredients that we'll be using are 1 large onion, 4 tomatoes, 4 to 5 garlic cloves, 1 inch ginger. I'm using 4 red chilies which are dry red chilies and I'm also using 4 green chilies. 1 sprig of curry leaves, some cilantro or coriander leaves. I'll be using half a lemon. I'm using 500 grams of jumbo shrimp or jumbo prawns and spices. And the spices that I'll be using are turmeric, red chilli, coriander powder, garam masala. Please check out the recipe of how to make fresh garam masala on my YouTube channel. Mustard seeds, salt. I'm also going to be using two tablespoons of tamarind paste and some fenugreek seeds or methi seeds and some jeera or cumin seeds. I'm also using Kashmiri red chilli which brings out the beautiful redness in the curry and I'm using half a cup of yogurt that I'll use it in the marination. Since I'm using frozen shrimp, I've actually thawed it and washed it thoroughly. Now I'm going to marinate it for the recipe. The reason I like to marinate the shrimp one hour before cooking is because it absorbs the flavors and it removes that fishy smell. So the first thing I'm doing is pouring half a cup of yogurt. I'm now going to put 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli for the beautiful redness. Finally, I'm squeezing half a lemon. Gently stir it all and mix all the spices and keep it away for one hour. So time to chop the onion. I like cutting the onion into julienne's for this recipe. And now I'm chopping the tomatoes. So now that the tomatoes are cut up, I'm going to crush the five garlic cloves and one inch of ginger along with two red chilies. I'm saving two for the curry and I'm going to crush two dry red chilies with the garlic and ginger. Although you can actually use a grinder or a blender for the purpose as well but I like to crush my ginger garlic red chilli myself because it brings out those flavors from the garlic and ginger and look at the beautiful color from the ginger garlic and the red chilli. I'm also chopping green chilli into juliennes. Uh, There's these small, small minor touches that make or break a recipe. As for the curry leaves, I'm going to use half of them chopped and half I'm going to save for the plating. So let's start with the cooking of the prawn curry now. I'm going to put one ladle of oil in a non-sticking pan. Once the oil starts to warm up, I'm putting 1 4th teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 4th teaspoon of cumin seeds and also 1 4th teaspoon of fenugreek or methi seeds. Now that they're all crackling and popping, I'm going to put ginger, garlic, green chilies and the curry leaves. Let it all sizzle. At this point, I'm going to add all of the onions and saute the onions till they're golden. It's now time to put 1 4th teaspoon of turmeric. I'm going to now put some red chilli powder in this. 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Mix it all well. It's now time to add all of the shrimp along with all the marination because I don't like wasting any of my precious marination which has so much of flavor in it. I'm going to saute it for two to three minutes. So I'm putting one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of tamarind. If you note, I have not added tomatoes yet 
I like to add the tomatoes in the end because they bring out the redness and the curry and the flavors. Add my four chopped tomatoes. Mix it all in. And tomatoes themselves will give the curry time to cover it up and let it cook for five to seven minutes. Now that the shrimp has started to leave the water and the curry looks beautifully cooked, it's time to now finally sprinkle half a teaspoon of my fresh garam masala. Please check out my channel to see the recipe of how to make fresh garam masala. So finally, it's time for the plating and garnishing. So I'm garnishing it with some chopped cilantro leaves and also some of the curry leaves that we had kept. I'm adding some of those. And here you go friends, a quick, easy but absolutely mouth-watering spicy prawn curry is ready. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget, eat naturally, live happily.